Spinelli would come up with something a little more descriptive. Spinelli? Yeah, Spinelli. <laughs> he's part of the local color. I mean, look, he's a great kid. He's got so much stuff going on in his brain, and so he's spelling out all over the place. <laughs> oh, speak of the devil. Anyway, I mean, I was totally swamped, and suddenly there was Mariana, and she she jumped in and helped me right out. No, it was nothing. Oh, come on, you saved the drowning man. I mean, she didn't, wasn't excited about getting back into the business, but I wasn't above groveling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Jackal requests a uh, Sub Rosa conference with the senior sir yeah. um, on a most urgent matter regarding his little grand dude. Sub Rosa, okay. Uh, listen, I just wanted to thank you again for helping me out the other day and giving me medical attention. I didn't. I couldn't go to the hospital because of my situation. Yeah, of course. Did you get that all cleared up? Yes. I'm so relieved. Thanks to Rick. And I'm just so grateful to have a job. You know, any job. You know, Rick knows a lot of people. I'm surprised he didn't set you up with something that you actually want to be doing. Well, I don't know what that is. And when I figure it out, I just want to do it on my own. <laughs> you know, I think I stood exactly where you are right now and said the exact same thing to Rick. I was a waitress here when I met him, and he was living upstairs. Really? Yeah. Lots changed since then. How'd it go with Mike? Senior Sir didn't immediately recognize any of the pernicious peddlers. I told him to continue studying the names and the faces as the grasshopper had a video to show his master. That, that's Michael? Yeah, um, but the little dude is running. It, it seems in fear in the direction of the piers. Like uh, Mariana's made a new friend. That's good to see. Yeah. Yeah. Especially someone who knows this town and all the people in it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> What's so funny? Mariana and I were just talking about things we have in common. Really? Like what? Girl stuff. There you go. Thank you. Nice seeing you again. You too. Bye. Okay. Um, Mariana's, um, she's special to me. Yeah, I figured that out. Okay, I'm not going to make the same mistakes as I did with you. A customer walked in carrying a purse that set her back probably about six of my mortgage payments. We were talking about accessorizing on a budget. All right, look. Something that happened to me while I was away. Something good. I'm five minutes back in this town with my father. I feel like it's all going out the window, so... I'm sorry if I'm a little paranoid. I hope you can turn things around. People can just change their lives and do things differently. Closer to finding where the cars are holding. I don't know that the cars took him, Sonny. Well, what, what, what do you know? I know that there was gun oil residue in his backpack. And right. Spinelli, he found some uh, waterfront surveillance footage of Michael running toward the piers the day he went missing. That's it? Yeah, for now, that's it. Okay, how long before you get out of bed so you can help me find Michael? Because I'm, I'm dying here, man. I... 
Well, it's not going to be any time soon. Jason's not going to jeopardize his recovery, the use of his hands, by going back to work for you now. You know, Elizabeth, you, you are much better off staying out of this. Jason severed tendons in both his hands. The doctors did the best they could, but it may require more surgery. I know there's going to be months of intensive physical therapy at the very least. I am not right now. Right now, I'm not interested in Sonny, what the doctors have to say. He you gave know. you his life. Don't take his hands. Elizabeth, I need to talk to Sonny. It's business. I thought you two weren't a thing anymore. What are you doing? We're not. I just, Sonny, I just saved her life. I, I understand that, but, uh, you know, you got to... I, I want you to just do your job. Look for Michael. Look for the... the... the, the person who shot Kate. If, if Maybe if you hadn't been chasing Diego, you wouldn't be here right now, is what more I'm saying. People, more people could have died. But you could have gone to the police. And the, maybe the then police. you wouldn't have been, you know, lying here right now. Useless to me. Unless... Unless what? You meant it to work out this way. I'm just frustrated. Like, you know, after all these years you've been working for me, you've never done anything this stupid or careless to, to take you out of commission. I had no choice. The car was gonna go off the bridge with Elizabeth and Sam in it. You're starting to sound like a guy who doesn't want to do what he's used to anymore. And maybe, I'm just saying, maybe this is just an excuse. <sighs> Fine, I will handle it. I'm, I'm actually handling it. I have Johnny Sakara, and uh, he will die in 24 hours if I don't get Michael back. And wh what are you gonna do after you've killed Johnny and you still don't have Michael back? You gonna keep going this way until everybody in your life is dead? Or gone? Nicholas and I were having a little bit of an argument as to why he's postponing his surgery. He has his reasons. People always do. Okay, so then he collapses and now he is in surgery. Nicholas? Well, that would explain why Lucky took off in such a hurry. You were there when I called? Yeah, we were talking about the hit and run and the new leads he's following. 